weekend, the latest adaptation of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan hits Amazon Prime. That means today we're going to stop and rank all five Jack Ryan movies from the worst to the best. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Sean Chandler and I started this channel because I was driving everyone around me crazy talking about movies way too much. If you can relate to that, that you like to talk about movies more than most people, you're probably in the right place. With that in mind, I'd love to talk Jack Ryan movies with you down below in the comment section. So give me your ranking, which ones do you love, which ones do you hate, and have you read the books? I'd love to have the perspective of someone that's actually read some of the books because I haven't actually read any of the books. With that said, let's get started. Coming in in last place is Jack Ryan. Shadow Recruit. With Kenneth Branagh behind the camera and talent like Coster and Pine in front of the camera, this movie looked like a slam dunk to me. Unfortunately, the movie doesn't really feel like Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, and it does feel like a lesser version of other better political and spy thrillers. The first 15 minutes try to give Ryan this big, heroic backstory, but by casting Pine and having a mentor recruit him, and by doing the time jumps, it actually kind of comes off a little bit like the beginning of Star Trek 2009. Then Ryan is sent on his first mission where he kills someone in a bathroom and then he talks with his supervisor about it, which comes off a little bit like a sequence in Casino Royale. Here, Ryan is presented more as a spy than as a master analyst and that kind of squeezes out the unique flavor of the original source material. What you're left with is a fairly bland and generic political action thriller that just happens to have amazing talent behind it. Coming in at number four, is Patriot Games. Now this is a good, well-made film that has a story that's just never really connected with me as well as some of the other films. Most Jack Ryan stories involve him stopping terrorist threats or preventing a war from breaking out. This film, however, has much smaller size and scale and it's about a personal revenge story. For me, this story felt like it would have made a lot more sense later on in the franchise. It struck me as odd that in only the second film in a franchise, he's already a former CIA agent and the stakes have already gotten so small. And for me, that small scale seems like a misuse of the character and the genre. But to be clear, the cast here is phenomenal. Harrison Ford is excellent in the lead role. The political elements are interesting and fascinating. The action sequences are thrilling as they take place. So this is still a very good movie. I just wish they'd done a bigger story. Coming in in third place is The Sum of All Fears. This movie to me is a little bit like the counterbalance to Patriot Games in that I find the story itself to be intriguing Intriguing. It has the scope, scale, size that I want from a Jack Ryan political thriller, while at the same time I'm not quite sure that it's cast as well or executed as well as Patriot Games. This one takes a little while to get going, but once a certain event happens in the middle of the film, you are at the edge of your seat until the credits begin to roll. I love this type of story and that type of tension and urgency and momentum in political thrillers like this. But there are some issues here with the casting and the execution. It seems like they were trying to to take an adult political thriller and make it for a broad mass audience by casting Ben Affleck in the lead, this seems like an odd role to put him in. He just doesn't naturally give off the vibe of a researcher or a CIA analyst. There's also kind of some muddled storytelling in the mix with all the different plot lines going along, but overall, this is a movie that I thoroughly enjoy as kind of the popcorn version of Jack Ryan. Our runner-up is The Hunt for Red October. For the longest time, I thought of this one as the boring one. And granted, it is a movie that has a lot of talking with subtitles in confined spaces. So this was a wonderful surprise to watch as an adult to realize it's not boring, it's subtle. It's a story with characters with complex motives that you have to stop and think about what's going on and why it's happening, and it absolutely pays off. The other thing that makes this movie very interesting is that Jack Ryan's not really the lead. We're really following Sean Connery character. And like all of the early Jack Ryan films, you've got a phenomenal cast. There's roles for Tim Curry, Scott Glenn, Sam Neill, and so many other familiar faces that are excellent talents just kind of pop up here and there in the film. This is absolutely a movie where you have to pay attention, where little details matter, and what's going on in the subtext is just as matter as what's going on in the forefront. But once you do that, it's an absolute pleasure. But for me, the quintessential
quintessential Jack Ryan movie is clear and present danger. This for me really is the measure by which I judge all other Jack Ryan films. It's got the political intrigue. It has Jack Ryan as the moral hero that gets sucked in over his head. And then you also have some nice action sequences in it. It's a film where we know that Jack is on the right side, but everyone else kind of are in this gray territory throughout the entire film. There's even a sequence where two characters are racing to print files and to delete files, and this shouldn't be interesting and exciting, but it's directed so well that it is. And I think this is truly a movie that shows why Harrison Ford is a Hollywood legend, because this is a guy that has been Han Solo, but then you absolutely believe him in this film as a CIA analyst. He's not looking to be the action hero, he's just a good man that's willing to do what needs to be done. He's also a character that's not inherently very confrontational, but when needed, can step up to the plate, even against even people of extreme authority. This movie really does embody everything that I love about these Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan films. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out this playlist to the left of some of my other rankings of 80s and 90s movies, franchises, or consider clicking that subscribe button if you want more videos like this to show up in your feed. And thank you for watching.